YouTubers. What's going on? I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're in America. I don't think the rest of the world celebrates Thanksgiving. But I hope you all had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. And who knows, this might, it might be Saturday for some of you. On my Friday. So whatever day it is, I hope you have a good. I am smoking Milan. Colonial pastime that Jeff sent me in my Unar Mitchell. That's made for Lee Van Cleef. Uh, he smoked in the Westerns. This blend is new to me. It's got fruits. It smells like a whiskey, like a rum. I have no clue what's in it. I told him not to tell me what was in it. He sent it to me and told me to try it. I told him I would. It's a wonderful, strong, big and bold, which I like, uh, tin note. And I say tin, although it was in a jar. But the taste that you get when you smoke it is big and bold. Now, another thing about this blend, besides its wonderful taste, Some aromatics have a wonderful tin note, but when you smoke it, you get nothing. Some aromatics, when you smoke it, you do get the aromatic taste, but you're missing out on the nicotine or flavor of like an English, like the, and I don't mean the flavor of an English, uh, well I do mean like the the strength of an English because it, it, you smoke it and it does have wonderful flavoring, but the the English experience is different, like you get you get more nicotine, you get like a let's say fuller uh, uh, fulfilling because that aromatic don't fulfill that, maybe that uh, little thing, an aromatic don't fulfill that like a English does. This blend's a little different. No, it's not like an English. I'm not saying that. But it does have... That fulfilling, so it must have some, like, it must have, I know there's a little, just, I'm getting a smoky taste, so there must be a little lot of Kia in there. I don't know what's in it. I, I, I don't know the flavors that's in it. I don't know if there's any Cavendish. There seems to be a little bit of burly, but I'm not getting the soap taste with this. But I am feeling that, and I've told you all this before, a burly you're going to feel here, and not gonna, a Virginia you're going to feel here, but a burly you're going to feel here. And I am feeling it there instead of here. 
on some thing, on some puffs. But it smokes like an aromatic, but it has some English qualities. I'm I'm saying like it's a it's not a cross it's not really a crossover. Is it a crossover like a frog wanting cellar? I don't know. I guess you could say that a crossover kind of fulfills both people, don't it? So if you smoke this as a English person, you're going to get a little bit. If you smoke it as an aromatic person, you're going to get a lot. You're going to love it, but you're also going to get a little bit of English. Like it's going to fulfill that English taste. And some of us like both. Some of us like, you know me, I, I've smoked. I'll smoke it all. If it's a good smoke, I'll smoke it all. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good bleeding. I've enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, smoking it. I smoked a bowl last night. And I smoked a bowl today. Uh, matter of fact, I have a... <coughs> I think it's uh, $30. $26, $25, $26 for half a pound. And it's windy. I don't know if you hear my things. It's windy out here. It's real. It's, it's a nice smoke. I already, I told you, I already got some thing to order. I'm going to order. Uh, I got a little video for you to show you. <coughs> Y'all know <coughs> I watch on the big screen. I watch you all. I watch all y'all's videos. When one's done, then it just randomly plays the next. Now, at random play, it could be a new one, if somebody's put a new video up. Or it could be an old one, and it could go back four years. But anyway, uh, this morning I was watching something, and the next video popped up, and it was uh, Cliff's... No, not Cliff. It was Charlie's. Charlie's video popped up. And he was doing a VR to a lot of people. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, he, in the middle of the video, some people come visiting. His dog started barking. And uh, as soon as he did that, uh, my dog, Zeus, his ears kind of popped up. So I stopped the video. I stopped the video. I let Zeus go back. He was chewing his food bowl. I don't know why he has toys. But anyway, I put it back on Charlie's videos, and I got out my camera, and I got out the thing, and I was like, I'm going to see what he does, you know, what he does, because I'm going to see if he, you know, if he reacts to Charlie's videos, to Charlie's dogs. And uh, sure enough, I hit play, and I hit record on my thing. Well, here, here's what, here's what happened. Okay, so here we go. Well, that was fun. A couple of my neighbors came by in the middle of the YouTube video. So that's pretty cool, wasn't it? That's pretty cool. And Zeus does that. Uh, a lot of times he'll be sitting and he'll he'll be watching and he'll see something uh, on somebody's videos and he'll just sit there and watch TV. <laughs> it's crazy. Huskies are crazy. It's it they're wonderful, but they're so hard. If you are above my age, 
I wouldn't suggest getting a Husky. Because they're just like a two-year-old that doesn't know yes. Well, they know yes from no. But they don't care. They're into everything. <laughs> so, you're kind of... <clears throat> so you, the car go by. You're constantly running after them and tell them, not running, running, but just getting up because they're constantly into everything. So you're constantly getting up. So anyway, but they they are wonderful, smart animals. I'm just saying, like they're not. If you're wanting a dog just to uh, come and and uh, you know you want to lay down in the recliner or sit in the recliner or whatever, and the dog just come, uh, that's not no. Don't get a husky. But if you want a dog that is so intelligent that uh, it's out of this world. But, and you don't mind moving around, maybe you want some exercise <laughs> to get a husky. Anyway, uh, Charlie, I appreciate the shout out. And Charlie is 100% right on what I said. I like to support all the live streams. I like to support all the people, the, the everybody. I want to support everybody. The people that uh, just started making videos of people that's been making videos for five plus years and everybody everybody in between why James why why don't you want to just uh, say do the big dogs we all know that mutton chop is probably the big dog he does a video and immediately before the first hours up there's several thousand views um, you know, as, why don't I just want to do him? Because it's not, why TPC is not one, it's not two. It takes the pillars, but it also takes, it, it, it also takes everybody else. See, if, if you're, when you're building, let's say the Great Pyramid, when you're building the Great Pyramid, people always say, oh, Ramsey's the Great. Or or you remember, you know, King Tut because of what they found, but the people don't remember his, when it, his rule. But Ramsey's the Great is one um, that they do a lot of, that they, that you, you know, you, but when they were doing that, it wasn't just the king. It wasn't the big dog. No, it was all the people, our little man, like me, a little, the little people that does lives. It was all the little people that built the Great Pyramid. It took all them, not just the one person or the person that designed it, which that's a different person, the, the different person that designed it. It took everybody, it took everybody to build something great and that is what the YTPC is and why I say don't just support the big ones because if you do you're going to have three or four and it's going to dwindle down I promise you the views, the numbers on everybody's is going to dwindle down but if you support instead of sitting there saying oh let's go and watch this guy's live this guy's these guys are great. Yeah, let's support them. Only them. Everybody's going to hurt, and everybody's numbers is going to go down, and people are going to fall off and quit doing videos. But if you build up just the smallest people that's getting two or three viewers in their live stream, you build them up. So let's say they get 50. They get 100 viewers. I'll have one of them that does, that gets under 10 views, 15 views. And I'm talking people that are at one time, not through the whole stream. They're getting 50, 100. What do you think the other people that are already are getting 50, 60, where do you think they're going to be at? They're going to be at uh, three, 400. Because it builds everybody up. And that's me. 
And that's what I'm telling you. Don't build up just a few. If you make a video and you want to help the YTPC because you care about the YTPC and you care about others and you care about your own channel, then you best be supporting everybody. You best be writing down everybody's name. You best be talking about everybody when you do that. And I've said this from the beginning. Support them all. And there's a lot of alls that I could say. And uh, I, I, I will forget some, but here you go. I'll, I'll tell you some. John, all briared up. Jeff, oh, uh, Ohio Piper. Uh, Jose. Uh, Ca Jose Cavendish, who I hope is all right. Uh, he just come out of the hospital. But, but, but anyway, uh, Dingus, uh, uh, Paul and Sharon, when they do theirs. Steve and Miss Kathy, when they do theirs. Uh, Steph and Skip when they do theirs. Um, now the big dogs you already know. I mean, that gets a lot. You got Martin, you got Kane Rod, you got Briar Blues. Support them too. I'm not saying don't support them. I just said support everybody, but not just the big dogs. Um, uh, uh, Eden is doing some now. Eden is doing a few. Glum Chum, I've seen him do a couple. I've been to a couple of his. He started doing a few. Uh, uh, you already know Simon. Simon, uh, you know, he's another one of the big dogs when, when he has his, you know, like he's regular. Um, see, I told you I'd forget some, and I am. And I'm sitting here trying to remember because I don't want to forget anybody because they're all important. But I just shot out a few names. So what am I doing? It's almost my birthday. My birthday, I was born on Thanksgiving. I was born on Thursday, Thanksgiving. But I was born on the November the 27th. So what am I doing on my birthday? I'm sitting here telling you to support other people. I'm telling I'm sitting here telling you to support everybody. And enjoying a good smoke. Thank you very much, Jeff. All right, that's it for me. I hope that you all are smoking the blends that you love and the pops that you love. Y'all have a good day. See you.